Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy. Haven't been around for a while. You understand that. Uh, I got a lot of comments from people that I just disappeared off the face of the earth. I did a video and uh, I just got some real bad comments on it. <clears throat> but as you know, a lot of us with the Inspire Ones, it's a good drone, very dependable drone. It's a strong drone. And the things that they don't like to talk about is it's very easily hacked if you know what you're doing and uh, you can get it to get higher speeds uh, further distances uh, FCC controls all that I really don't want to get into all that stuff because a lot of forums don't like us touching the DJI's products I don't know why uh, it doesn't have anything to do with them um, but I've taken apart TB47's TB48's uh, I got a video on how to disassemble the battery. I've been over these things uh, in and out. <clears throat> um, I'm surprised no one in the USA uh, has really gotten involved with trying it because these uh, these TB48s and 47s uh, they're getting hard to find, and I've been just trying to find. Uh, even if it's black, I don't care. You know, I'll fly the drone with a black, you know, battery or a white battery. I don't care as long as I can find the battery for a good price. Uh, they're starting to disappear and it's starting to go away. So everybody's trying to, you know, come up with an idea on how to make these batteries happen. And from what I understand, there's uh, two chips on here. We're not supposed to talk about. Um, uh, they're using a Reno board and they can program so it doesn't recognize what batteries you're putting behind the scenes so I mean this was a brand new head that I took apart ready for investigation uh, as you guys know I had a I had three successful flights uh, at 30 minutes a piece by using this giant thunder power battery uh, the problem is that I've learned I don't have it hooked up right now um, it's a thunder power the cells are the same the only problem is it's 3.8 per cell DJI batteries I think are 3.7 it don't sound like much but like I said the chip inside the head here is is telling the computer that it's bad now if you look at this one real close I don't know if you can see it there's a burn mark and I don't know if it burnt up or it just crapped out on me, but what I did is when you're making a battery like this, you have to remember to plug in the balance lead first, and then the power, and then turn this thing off right away before you plug it into the drone. And what happened is after three successful flights, the head went. The battery's still good. This is a very good battery. And also what I noticed is this thing can be charged to 26 volts on an overcharge. And I think what happened is I did overcharge it without paying attention, you know, and it went too far and it burnt this chip. It's a BQ chip sitting right in the head there. There's a little burn mark um, under just investigation of taking a peek. Uh, it's the only chip I have on one of these heads that looks like it's burnt. So something happened um, I'm just doing this I'm not a, an electrical engineer but I'm surprised in the US of A that no one can figure this out um, so anyways to get past all this garbage uh, here's my Inspire 1 I have it set up with a uh, I like the Nvidia Shield and I have a long-range Titan high-powered antenna so Having high-powered antennas are awesome, but if you don't have the battery power, you really can't go anywhere. Uh, these drones are notorious for uh, 16 minutes, you know, 14, 16 minutes at the most with one of these batteries. Plus, if you leave them in storage too long, I, I have to fly most of my batteries because I haven't been flying in a while. Uh, you have to fly your drone. I'm going to explain this to you guys. Get your drone out there, fly it about a foot off the ground. As close as you can without it landing and keep that stick up until this girl goes below three percent if you can get one percent that's fabulous and then it'll reboot the brain and then you can recharge them 
Right now, these are on that one blinking light. I guarantee you if I charge it, it's going to go to the third light, and it won't even show 100% charge. But anyways, that's another long story on these type of batteries. There's a lot of guys out there looking, and I don't know why uh, even DJI hasn't, or someone came up with an aftermarket battery. This drone is no different than the Phantom 3. Uh, I've even had the clips. Don't bother with the clips. They don't work uh, because you're mixing two types of battery cells. You're mixing DJI battery cells with anybody from, you know, Thunder Power cells or whatever. And the cells are expensive if you try to buy them and make your own batteries. So I figured I'd go with this. And this was a 7,000 milliamp. And I was getting close to 30 minutes with no camera. With the camera, I'm getting about 24 minutes. And if you watch my YouTube videos, I have one that she's up there flying. And it went for a real long time. My fingers got tired. But as... The, I didn't change firmware or anything, but I think the battery detected an overcharge on this cell, and it popped the head. Instead of going through this all over again, I decided to try to find out any information I could. So, I did. I did a lot of digging. People are seeing these weird-looking batteries. Um, I think there's a 7000, which would have been the one I built. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, wow, somebody took my idea. They put it together. I'm not going to take all the credit because somehow they figured out to work the battery brain. So, so I'm not going to take any credit for this. I've been on forums discussing how to build something or take something apart. And uh, I seen it and I said, boy, that looks familiar. Um, and everybody else has been trying it. But the battery clips, they won't work. I've tried every configuration, wasted a lot of money for nothing. And it just don't work. If you get like an extra two minutes out of a pile of batteries you got hanging off this drone, then you did good. Um, so let's go on to the discussion. The whole idea of this. I'm not going to test this right now. i got to figure out how to charge this. Uh, it should be charged with a, just a factory DJI high amp charger. And I don't have one anymore. I have a base station and everything to charge all my batteries. So I really don't have an original DJI uh charger if you guys want to donate one that'd be cool and i'll send it back to you but i need to charge this thing up properly from what i understand and go with that so anyways let me show you what's going on so 15 days i get this yellow package uh people can pm me on prices and all that stuff and i will talk to the owner about uh, if he wants anybody you know to start ordering them um, i thought the price was reasonable to one of these. If you look these up, they're 250 bucks now. They could be 300. It depends on who has them. Um, so I picked up this. All right, I'm gonna open a box. I'm gonna pull it out. First off, it comes to with two 3D printed bases. It's got two of them. All right. So let's start out with. Let me put it down here. So. This is a base that has to go in the DJI. It's just a 3D printed thing. You can see not much, not a high quality 3D print, but it does the job what it needs. There's a slot here. Um, so I'm going to put it in the drone. That's what I'm going to do right now. It has these uh, special lift up hooks. See if I can get it. Special lift up hooks, and it's also got a locking mix in them to lock the battery in place. So let me put that right in the DJI drone. This is the Inspire. It goes in with these legs facing in. And it locks down. Leave that locking device open. I'm going to leave that open. All right. Now, let me open up the prize. Shipped all the way from Hong Kong. Now, I'm talking to these you brainiacs because somebody needs to figure this out so we can have a way of flying our antique vintage drone, we'll call it. And we can get a little bit more time out of it. But check this out. Alright. It's got a nice label on it. In reality, it's just a 3D printed box. Uh, the cable's all done up. Alright, I push the uh, drone's light, and that's what you get. And, uh, and it has a little notch on the bottom here to slide into that bracket that I just put. But it says 9,000 milliamps. It's got a 20C MAH 
it's got a 22.2 volt six cells and you got uh, what 204.8 watt hours all right and it's all attached to this if somebody can read what that says I do not know and uh, it's attached to this head now let me try to install this with the camera in a direction that you can see it so now I have this base plate in here okay so this is going to have to slide in just like this it's kind of a little tricky thing I wish it was a little bit easier that's the only complaint I got I'm going to try to lift this up right here so I can see what I'm doing better and there we go I got it latched in and you got to have it perfectly lined up to get through the other side sorry for the dogs barking everywhere alright so now it goes in and it kind of stops because is in the uh, 3d printed part like I said is the spare it's got to stop right here so the battery's only going to slide in so far I'm sorry for the video being in a bad spot but I'm in a close quarters right now so anyways there's the battery it's in place we'll lock this little tab that's going to stop the battery from flying out and you just flip this device your head the device or power head we'll call it you lock it in and it's pretty neat the way it is there let me turn it and I'm gonna bring the drone up so I don't have to move the camera this is what it looks like I'll try to get weights and everything of this battery compared to a 47 but from what I understand it's actually better for the X5 camera for its weight but I just want to show you a test so first off as we all know with the older drones I'm not going to turn the Titan on I really don't need to the antennas are plugged in make sure that this is open there's the shield I'm just going to turn this on all right let me unplug plug this back in that's somehow how you have to get let me shut this one off oh it's going to give me a hard time today never never on a shield put the protective glass what's happening is you don't get the right touch on the unit but let me fire up the drone anyways so I'm not holding up time here and I'll see if see if everything picks up on a signal maybe the software will boot up for me okay alright so everything's booted up fine it's actually aiming at the thunder power battery alright I'm gonna hit the battery thing when I fir first just tried it before I did a video here there's all the stats the only thing I show see is it's showing uh, total capacity is 5700 and that's what a TB48 would be so it's pretty much in the programming of the chip telling it's a, a 5700 and it's 31 I haven't did a full charge yet but this is just to show you that that it's powering up the board and I don't have any trouble and then I will pull those two sticks down take off so So I don't exactly know what he did, but he got it to work. Uh, later on, I will be trying, maybe in a few days, I'm going to try to do a test flight, but I got to get the charge up. Like I said, he recommends we use just a regular old-fashioned DJI charger, the high-capacity one. And I don't have one anymore, unfortunately, so I will figure out how to charge this. 
but what I want to show you real quick, let me shut this down. Okay, I shut this drone down. Let me try to, I'm going to pull the plug here, disconnect, flip this lever, slide the battery out. All right, put the battery there for a minute. And then we're going to pull this pack out, pull the adapter plate out. We'll just toss it there. And what I want to do is I'm just going to... I'm going to pop this together here, power up the Thunder Power, and I'm going to show you what happens. I'm only on one cell, of course, but let me shut it down. What I'm going to do is just place it in here for a minute without all the Velcro that I use. Plug in the power head. Now, of course, I put it in the wrong direction. Let me do this correctly, folks. I'm just wasting your time here a little bit to show you what's going on with the original one that I built. Put your head in first. And there's been a few people making these. I don't know if they've been successful. Um, I was supposed to do the um, balance plug first. And you'll notice she'll try to come on. The problem is, it's this, the 9, see, it came on, so you want to shut it off. It came on by itself, hit the firmware, and it killed the battery. Um, let me plug in this. All right, so it's all plugged in, and what I'm going to show you what happens. What happens now, because the chip in here is screwed up, you go to turn it on, and it's blinking like it's on. It's going to start the fire up. And then it kicks out. It just dies. It tries to boot and then it kicks out. So, anyways, getting back to this, like I said, 1000 milliamp hours attached to a head. Something in here is telling me not to pull this label off and check off what's happening. But if I went in here, I'm pretty sure if I did a backwards compatibility thing, if I check this, it's the same identical thing I did with this. It's just somebody knows how to use the battery software to tell the DJI that, hey, these are the right cells. Don't worry about it. Just fly the drone. All right. So anyhow, let me stop the video now. I'll get it out there so you guys can see. Uh, this is Cruz Roy, and I'm out of here.